Hello, my name is Gilbert. I'm from Oklahoma. I was working for the military base. Things went bad after I broke my ankle, and from there it's been like either heads up or just try to make the best of what I'm doing. And um, me and her, we've been living on the street for the last two years because somebody decided to steal my backpack. They had my wallet in there, and so it's kind of hard for me to find a job without my credentials. And then that's where the police brutality comes in because they want to know if that's really you or you're just making it up. And then they start, I don't know, just um, insinuating something, but you're telling them the truth, but they don't think the truth is what they want to hear. Are you familiar with this area? Yeah. Can you explain a couple incidents of police brutality sure. you encountered? Yeah. I went to go visit my mom in McVinville. I was going through Linfield College. Went to go buy a, a loaf of bread, a dozen of eggs, uh, something to drink. Going through, I, I, my, my clothes didn't look good because I was sleeping on, you know, sleeping on the street, and the security said, "Do I, uh, do I actually be belong here?" And I said, "All I'm doing is cutting through, going home." And um, as I started walking away, he went ahead and tased me, and I kind of said some choice words and said that that wasn't right what you're doing to me just for cutting through and uh, I tried to get away from him but a cop pulls up was wondering why they thought that I was like menacing or whatever and again I got tased again after me doing the fish on the ground stuff they took me to jail have you ever had to uh move where you were where you were staying because of the police and been asked to leave leave the area all the time all the time we're trying to make the best of what we have and it, 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 took, it took us a while to get it but we got it and now we live somewhere else that they don't even know, so it's it's peaceful. Do you feel that there is adequate help for people in need in Portland? No, not really, because they say they say that they're gonna do this for you, and you wait and wait and wait, and it turns out at, at, at that moment they they turn you away, or you get there, you make your bedding. To, let, to sleep in there and then if you walk out at a certain hour where they tell you you can't go back outside they'll lock the door on you and your stuff's inside and before you know that some people are, some people there are going through your stuff you ever heard of the home forward organization uh no i haven't yet are you familiar with home forward uh home forward as far as section 8 goes i am okay yeah i spent six years on the list and now I make a little over $900, and so that's my monthly income for everything, medical and everything. And so I couldn't afford to pay the $625 that they want for my, my apartment. And because I spent the six years on the list, I only spent $160 a month for my apartment through Home Forward. 